What's up YouTube? I'm Jeremy Rage and welcome to another little mini series where I'm going to be taking you for each of the murder mysteries map one by one and giving you best advice, best tactics and best places to hide on those maps. Right guys, welcome to Mineshaft. Now Mineshaft is one of those levels that has a lot of clever places to hide so we'll cover them right now. So if you go up here into this little room office you can actually hide in each one of these vents so you got one two and three but if you go through this one here you can actually go through into a secret room that is not a lot of people know about and this is great for collecting coins because coins spawn like crazy in that room but a tactic i was in play is i will wait in this one here now my wings stick out but when i'm not using my wings it's a really good place to hide and let's take you through these corridors and these corridors, there is a couple of really, really, really clever places to hide, and not a lot of people know about them, so they don't check them. But hopefully I can get through them all within this video. So in this little bit here, where you look up, now this is a dead end, you can't go any further than this. But up here, you can actually hide right in this corner if you jump. As you can see, I'm not very visible in the video. Now if you imagine someone with lower graphics, they wouldn't see you at all. So that is a good little spot to hide. In this main room, if I jump onto here and then I jump up again, you can actually hide there as well. Now, this is a spot a lot of people use as sheriff because they can look down and they can just shoot you. So, that is a spot you can use. And then, if we go into this bit here, if you look here, there's a little crack. Now, you can actually get inside that. Now, this is another little spot to hide because it goes through to two rooms, so you can actually get through it this way. This is the main corridor here, you can actually come in this way and get into this little room this way, or you can come through it the other way. So that is another good space to hide. And then the next space, now if you come across here, you've just passed a really, really good spot. Now right here, you can barely notice it. If I can get into it, as you can see, I'm actually hidden in one of the best spots in the game. Now, it's very hard to notice, and you're completely pitch black. There's no way to be spotted in there. So, you should use that quite frequently. Then, the last spot to hide is in here. Now, this looks like a normal corridor, but if you see this ledge here, if you can jump up twice, now, it's a bit hard to get it done first time. But, oh, I nearly had it then. Let's try again. Oh, I'm, 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 I'm feeling this. This is another hard one. But as you can see, I'm pretty much pitch black. You know, people are running through without paying any attention. They would just go straight past you, and it's a good spot to hide there. That's pretty much it for this. So hopefully you've enjoyed learning all these different tactics, different places. Hopefully you've learned something new. If you have, leave it, leave it in the comments down below so I know what you've learned. But apart from that, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed, and we'll see you in game when I can slash you and murder you like this.